the line, Trojana, Sindala, and Oxagon. This is Neom, Saudi Arabia's vision for the future. It is intended to be an advanced, sustainable, and futuristic megacity unlike any other. In October of the previous year, numerous trailers and videos showcasing the commencement of its construction reached a global audience, but updates about its current progress have been elusive. So, what has been happening and how much progress has been made? Let's find out. Initially announced in 2021 by Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman, the line represents the nation's most ambitious mega-project to date. It is envisioned as a self-sustaining linear city extending over 100 kilometers from the Red Sea to the city of Tabuk in the east. The city plan includes two 500-meter tall buildings running parallel to each other. The vision is to make everything easily accessible by foot, creating a city with no cars, no roads, and zero emissions. Naturally, an announcement of this magnitude generated significant interest, particularly after the release of drone footage revealing excavation work in October 2022. However, since then, details about the actual progress on the construction site have been scarce. So, what does it look like today? According to the most recent information, substantial work has been carried out on the line over the past year. In an exclusive interview with the project's executive director, it was disclosed that approximately 20% of the essential infrastructure has been completed. This includes critical roads, offices, and logistics hubs necessary for future work on the site. Satellite images show visible changes across the project's length compared to images from the previous year. For instance, the Neom Community One now resembles a fully functional city with numerous housing units, a school, a mosque, a post office, convenience stores, and even a Starbucks branch. Excavation work on the main structure of the line has also progressed significantly in the past year, with Google Maps showing the foundations taking shape. The excavation of the hidden marina, set to become the world's largest marina, is also underway, with a massive amount of earth being dug up each week. In addition to ongoing excavation, piling work has begun for the main structure. More than 4,500 individual piles have been installed in a section known as Module 43. The pace of pile installation is expected to increase as construction ramps up over the coming months. Furthermore, the line's dedicated underground rail system, known as the Spine, has seen significant changes, including a reduction in the length of underground tunneling and the number of stations. Despite this considerable progress, questions remain regarding the project's funding and the companies involved. The line and Naom as a whole are funded and owned by the Public Investment Fund, Saudi Arabia's sovereign wealth fund controlled by the Crown Prince. Contracts with various companies primarily revolve around excavation and foundation work. Notable names include the Keller Group from the UK, Bauer from Germany, and the French Bachi Solitanche. The state-owned construction company Power China is responsible for piling work at the marina. Additionally, Italian contractor Webwild and Saudi's Sajco have been awarded the contract to build a high-speed rail line connecting the line to Oxagon. However, despite the recent progress, there are valid criticisms. The project's promise of sustainability is questioned, with experts estimating a substantial carbon footprint for the city's construction. Human rights concerns also linger, with reports of forced displacements and severe consequences for protesters. These issues could potentially hinder the project and its ability to attract global investors. Now, let's turn our attention to the next major development, Trojana. Trojana is an extravagant outdoor winter and skiing destination situated in the midst of a vast mountainous desert. Although similar in scale and ambition to other NAOM projects, Trojana stands out due to the strict deadline it faces. Completion in just six years, ahead of the 2029 Asian Winter Games, for which Saudi Arabia was awarded hosting rights. Announced by the Crown Prince in 2022, Trojana is located 50 kilometers from the Red Sea coast, within one of the country's highest mountain ranges. Progress has been steady since the project's unveiling, with excavation work shaping the landscape and the development of the man-made lake at the project's center. The vertical village known as The Vault has also seen substantial progress with extensive excavation work and foundation preparation. 
Major hospitality brands like Ennismore and Minor Hotels have announced their involvement in the project. Sustainability remains a concern, as the region's limited natural snowfall necessitates reliance on artificial snow machines, which consume substantial resources. The use of seawater from the Red Sea for snow production poses additional logistical challenges. Now, let's explore Sindala. Sindala is another significant project within Neom, currently under construction as a luxury island resort destination on the Red Sea's coast. Accessible by boat, seaplane, or the nearby Neom Bay Airport, Sindala is designed to be a world-class yachting destination with an 86-berth marina, three luxury hotels, a golf course, and various high-end restaurants and retail outlets. Announced in December of the previous year, Sindala is expected to be the first Naam project to open, with the first guests anticipated in 2024. Construction is well underway, with infrastructure in place, roads constructed, and the basic layout of buildings and foundations established. Marriott International, set to open three luxury hotels in Sindala, expresses confidence in meeting the 2024 opening date. Finally, let's turn our attention to Oxagon. Oxagon is a floating industrial port city on Saudi Arabia's west coast, set to serve as the business and industrial heart of Neom. Located in a crucial shipping route, it will support emerging industries, including green energy. The port of Neom, the main industrial and logistics hub of the future megacity, is a central component of Oxagon's development. Despite limited news on the project's construction, some infrastructure related to the port of Neom has been established, though some buildings are part of the older Duba port. In addition, an Oxagon community has been established, but appears to have seen less progress compared to other Neom projects. Saudi Arabia appears committed to transforming their ambitious plans into reality, although challenges and concerns remain. The future of these projects will be closely watched. In conclusion, these NEOM projects represent a vision of the future that is both awe-inspiring and fraught with challenges. The ambition to create sustainable, advanced, and futuristic cities has generated significant progress, yet it also brings into focus issues related to sustainability, human rights, and financing. The world will be watching to see how these ambitious initiatives evolve and whether they can live up to the grand vision set forth by Saudi Arabia. We appreciate your support and hope you enjoyed this update. Please let us know your thoughts and whether you believe Neom's projects will ultimately become a reality. Thank you for watching and we look forward to your comments in our next video.